Hey scrubs, in this video I'll be showing you guys the settings I used to get my heads up display and UI to look the way it does. In this video I'll showcase the mods I use and then show the values I use for the widget locations should they require editing from the vanilla location on the UI anyway. There are 9 mods in my list and check each mod to see if it has any requirements before you download it. I know for example Sky UI needs script extender. Without the required mods these won't work correctly, but having said that each requirement will be displayed on its nexus page anyway. So let's go on with it. Okay, so first up is Sky UI by the Sky UI team. I feel like if you're playing Skyrim on PC, then you know exactly what this is and what it does, but just in case you've been squeaking around in a vault for 200 years, here are some of the features. Sky UI changes the inventory massively, it basically overhauls it. It removes the dodgy left and right controller menus for moving between tabs, and instead lays the inventory out like an actual list of your items. Who'd have thought of that Bethesda? It does this for both inventory and magic spells and you can swap between the two types with the left alt. This layout also applies to all containers and merchants in the world. Using space, you're able to search through your inventory for specific items. This is an absolute godsend and is something that really should have been included with the PC version of the game. The same goes for map locations, you can press space and then type in a location to see if you've discovered it or retype a location's name as opposed to scrolling the length of the map as you don't have time for menial tasks like that. The favourites menu is also had a kick up the arse and has different tabs within the menu as well as different groups you can assign favourited items to. Finally Sky UI adds widgets to the HUD or heads up display depending on whatever debuffs or buffs are currently active on your character. Groovy. Second on the list is Sky HUD by Farkas. This mod adds a text file which can be edited to easily customise aspects of the UI such as compass girth, the crosshair, the in-game clock, health bar positioning, thickness and ammo. The editing of this mod requires at least basic knowledge of INI file editing, however if you're a scrub like myself then you can just download presets or replacers that Noble Heroes have uploaded to the Nexus for us, such as customizable UI replacer by ELX Dark. Thanks for doing the heavy lifting dude. Customizable UI replacer comes with some great presets for the UI such as Dark Souls like and ESO, but in my 400 plus series I'm using the main preset. I love the new layout of the UI, especially the elements for the health, stamina and magical bars. They look a lot less chunky than the vanilla counterparts. For my clock mod, A Matter of Time by Sky Amigo just helps me keep track of the in-game time while I'm dungeon diving or if the weather is so poor it doesn't allow me to discern the time of day. This mod allows for different styles of the clock, such as just a text clock, a sundial, different bars. I use the default bar option and I hide the other elements. Really easy setup. So instead of the sky dial, you're just going to want the bar. Don't want to show the in-game clock. Don't want the date. And then you just leave these as is, basically. Under the clock bar next to the health, stamina and magicka bars are the widgets for gold and carry weight. I usually use more HUD for these details, however I love the look of these icons and feel like they synergize really well with the adventure UI. Okay, one of the most annoying to set up just because there's so many different little tweaks you have to make widget mod. The gold and the encumbrance widgets. So for the gold counter, it is, you keep the position there for left and right default, up and down needs to go up to 28. And then weight is minus 34. And also 10. Now besides gold and weight, you want to toggle every other widget off. So for shaping, I put the weight counter down to 110. The gold counter stays at 120. You sometimes might get a little yellow orb just by here. If that happens, then you go to the widget mod config, or menu, I should say, where it says essential counter, sorry, in shaping. Central counter, transparency to zero, and then it'll be, you can't see it then. I do use more HUD by Azab, but I toggle the player's details off and instead keep it just for the extra information on target objects. I couldn't imagine playing without these extra little details, and they keep me out of the menu every time I pick up a new ingredient. 
on the right side of the screen are the widgets for my equipment. These are from the Loot and Degradation SE by Asoku and Phenom Faz MFQ. The mod adds degradation to tempered, such as flawless or exquisite, weapons and armor, which nullifies the damage bonus of the tempering, and requires them to be tempered by blacksmiths again to repair their wear and tear, or you can purchase repair kits and repair the gear yourself. It's highly customizable with some great settings in the mod configuration menu, such as a setting to make the tempering of equipment not instantaneous. For example, I set my temper time to 4 hours, and after clearing Bleak Falls Barrow, my daggers and armor were beat up, so I gave them to Yolan Greymane, and I went hunting with my bow around the plains outside Whiterun. The courier arrived several hours later with a message from Yolan, saying that he'd finished fixing the gear and it was available to be picked up. It's a great mod. At the bottom of the screen you can see the widgets from I Need by Asoku. I Need is a highly customizable survival mod that could also have its own spotlight video, but for the purpose of this video I'll just keep it very brief. I Need being a needs mod requires the player to eat, drink and sleep. As these conditions fail to be met, widgets corresponding to the required need will appear on screen, informing the player of which need you need to fulfill. The mod and widgets are highly customizable. Right, so for I need, you go to notifications after you've enabled it here. Notifications, widget style, alpha based, white. I have mine bottom, middle, excellent. Yep, yep, yep. That's okay, and I also have track disease on, so if you get something like rattles, that'll show up as a little skull down here. Sky UI the Adventurer theme mod SE by El Sopa is a great retexture of the Sky UI and it gives it much more of a fantasy feel as the menus are retextured to look like parchment. It also provides replaces for the icons within the menu and the replaces look brilliant. Finally, Chasing the Dragon by Genna is a mod I used to stop Skyrim becoming a potion chugging simulator after level 5. I don't know about you, but I usually end up hoarding potions and then just chugging them in big quantities during battle. This mod punishes that behavior by providing a toxicity bar similar to The Witcher 3. Each time you consume a potion, you increase the toxicity meter. The more valuable or complex the pot, the more the toxicity is added. At 50% toxicity, there are visual impairments that worsen progressively to 100%, where you overdose and all passive regeneration of your health, magicka, and stamina is blocked until you get below 100% again. Toxicity takes a fair amount of time to wear off and all of this is customizable within its mod configuration menu. You can even get addicted to potions and every 12 hours of addiction that you go without a potion, your withdrawal gets worse, you filthy smack rat. The worst level of this will have you debuff each skill by 20 points, reduce your carry weight and movement speed, and you'll literally punch as hard as a fish. I like to set my minimum addiction threshold to 50% so I can slurp down a pot or two without getting the shakes. There is also a whitelist setting in the menu so you can choose to exempt certain potions from toxicity. Enable the meter, 640, and this value is 22.5 it needs to be. Twenty-two point five, one hundred fifty. Okay. As you can see, it's very customizable. It's absolutely a beautiful mod. Whitelist. Okay. Okay. If you've done everything correctly, then it should look like this once you back out. Voila! It's beautiful again. Well that's it for my UI mods and setup, consider leaving me a like and if you've enjoyed this, subscribe to inflate my ego. My next video will be an armor showcase and over the next week I'm going to be working on finishing the tweaks on my combat mod setup so I can do a video on combat mods. Peace.